let me talk about the entry process for how you can qualify for this IITM online degree program. Okay, the qualification, let me warn you, is open for anyone to enter, but it's going to involve some hard work from your part. Okay, it will not be a very easy process. Like I said, we are mindful of keeping the process of entry inclusive, but still rigorous enough so that we test the student and make sure good students get out and enter the program. Okay, so how do we do it first? Like I mentioned, it's very inclusive. So literally anyone can apply to enter into the program. Okay, what do I mean by anyone? The only thing you need is you should have, you should have passed 12th standard. You can be in any stream in 12th standard. You could have been in the commerce stream, you could have been in some vocational stream, it doesn't matter. We don't care about that. Any stream in 12th standard is okay. All right, so that's the first, uh, first thing I want to convey. Uh, the second condition we have is that you should either be in college, in a regular on-campus college, in a program in a college, you should have been admitted there and you should be either going through the program or you should have passed out of college. You should already have a college degree. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because uh, this is an online program. We don't want someone to only do an online program as part of their college, not yet at this point. We want to make sure that you have a regular on-campus experience, which is also part of growing up in some sense. So we want to keep it as a second degree that you can do. You might be familiar with the recent UGC proclamation that came out. Uh, students who are in college on campus doing a regular degree are also eligible to enroll for a second degree online. So this is not wrong. It's okay. It's allowed. Hopefully that was clear about who is eligible. Uh, in fact, if you had been in college and for some reason you couldn't continue and you had to drop out of college, that is okay too. You can still apply and be eligible for entering into the qualification process. Okay, hopefully that's clear.